Jerry, you're not a 20-something young thruster. What's the appeal of the Targa? Um, I've been involved in Targa from day one. I'd had a, a lot of experience in track racing, circuit racing, uh, over the years. And uh, Mike John got me to come on the original committee. And, uh, yeah, I just fell in love with it as soon as I was in, got involved. Choice of weapon, a 635. We used to see quite a few of them around circuit racing or street circuits. Why, that, why is that the choice here? Um, I was involved with the 635s in the, in the mid-80s. Uh, I worked on Kent Bajan's Group A 635 and then the JPS 635s. Loved the cars, fell in love with them. I'm, I'm a real 635 nut, I guess you could say. <laughs> Reasonably well balanced, but a little heavy, aren't they? Very heavy, yeah. We um, That is the issue, is, uh, is weight. Weight is the big issue. Just tell me a little bit about this and what you've done preparation-wise. Uh, this car is actually a new car we built last year. Uh, it's um, it's an it's an M6, so it's a twin cam. The, the other car I had was a single cam. Uh, it was a complete new build. It was a shell. It was an interesting story because my wife and I owned this car 20 years ago as a road car, and we got it back off the lady that uh, that, that, that we sold it to, and, and turned it into a race car. And so, who came up with the graphic design? Well, that was my stupid idea. Uh, it, it was a great idea um, at the time. But once we started uh, picking all these squares off with tweezers, uh, my wife and I, it wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> and what are your aspirations for the event? To finish. We, we always go into this event to finish. It's, it's five days and you have to finish. You know, there's no point being the fastest guy in the first two stages and ending up upside down in a paddock. So there's no red mist? No red mist with me. No, no we, we drive it hard and fast but well within ourselves.